Hi, I'm Brittany Bryden. Thank you so much for choosing to practice with me today. You're going to need a yoga strap for today's practice. I have a Manduka strap. This is about an eight footer. You're going to create a loop with the strap. If you have a, a strap like mine, mine's a Manduka, so you put it in between the bar and, I don't know, most part of it. <laughs> Take it over top of the bar and then pull on the tail to make the loop smaller. If you want it bigger, you're just going to pull on the actual loop itself, but it should be able to lock so it's not moving for you. And I really like using um, props in practice in general, but especially using a yoga strap, you can get a little bit more space and postures, which you might not be able to access without it. So it just gives you a little feedback, gives you some more room for mobility and stretch. And I just, I really, really love the feedback that the strap can give you in multiple postures. So we're gonna play around with that today. So I'm gonna give you just a second to get your loop all set up. You want a small loop for today's practice, and we're gonna start up on our backs. So you're gonna come down onto your back. You're gonna place that loop around your right foot and take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Your left knee can be bent or you can straighten the leg and press your heel down onto the floor. So both hands are gonna hold the strap, push your foot into the loop and then you're gonna bend your knee, bring your knee in towards your chest and then push your foot into the strap and straighten the leg. So you'll do that a few more times, just bending and straightening the leg. Seeing how that feels for you today. And then next time that you straighten it, your right hand is now gonna hold the loop. You wanna to try to get your hand as close to the foot as you can. You're gonna bend your right knee so your thigh is gonna graze the side ribs and bring your knee down towards the floor. Then you're gonna straighten the leg, pass the strap into your left hand now. Keep the leg straight as you cross your leg, just a little to the left. If you look at your toes, your toes should be facing you. Try to keep that right hip down and then pass your strap back into the right hand. So you're gonna bend the right knee, bring your knee down towards the floor. Straighten the leg, pass the strap to the left hand, cross your leg just a little to the left. And then one more time, strap into the right hand, bend your knee. Straighten the leg, pass the strap from the left hand, cross it over. Then bring your strap back into the right hand. Your left hand's gonna reach down for your left foot and place your left foot on top of the right thigh. Then bend your right knee until your heel comes in line with your knee. And you're going to walk your hands closer to the foot so your right thigh is going to come closer to you as you take your left knee out to the left side. Try to keep your low back connected to the floor. And the strap's going to stay around the loop. We're going to bring your left foot back to the ground and straighten your left leg. Then take your left heel to the left corner of your mat. You're going to cross your right leg over top of the left. So your legs are straight, foot, feet are going to hook onto one another. Take the strap over to the left side of the body. Your right arm is going to reach up and over the head. Then your left hand is going to push into the strap like you're reaching your left hand to the left side. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> so you're going to take an inhale. So you're going to use your breath to create more space. Expand through the ribs. And then when you exhale, Reach a little bit more to the left. And realign yourself back into center. You're going to place a strap around the left foot now, right foot on the ground. Both hands holding the strap, bend your left knee, bring your knee into your chest, and then straighten the leg. So you'll do a couple more on your own. And we'll walk your left hand higher up the strap towards your foot. Bend your left knee, bring your left knee down towards the floor. Straighten your leg, pass the strap into your right hand. Cross your leg just a little to the right. So this is not a twist. Don't let the leg go all the way to the right side. And then pass the strap in, into your left hand. Bend your knee. Knee down towards the floor. Straighten the leg. Pass the strap into your right hand. Cross your leg a little to the right. One more time. Strap in the left hand. Bend your knee. Straighten your leg. Pass the strap in the right hand. Cross it over. 
And then figure four, strap into your left hand so that your right hand can reach down for your right foot and place your foot on top of the left thigh. Then bend your left knee, walk your hands closer to the foot, and externally rotating from that right hip so your right knee is going out to the right side. Try to relax around your shoulders, your jaw. your right foot back to the floor, straighten your leg. Right heel is going to the right corner of your mat. Left leg is crossing over top of the right. Strap is going over to the right side. Your left arm is up and over the head. As you reach that left arm out to the right side, your right hand is pushing into the strap. Inhale, expand to the ribs, that left side of the body. And then exhale, see if you can reach over another inch or two. And realign yourself back onto center. Take the strap off to the side. Bend your knees, set your feet down on the ground a little bit wider than hip distance and let your knees rock side to side. Hug both knees into your chest. You can either rock and roll up and down the spine or you can roll to one side, whichever way you prefer to get up. Once you come up, I want you to grab your strap, place it towards the front of your mat. So that's there for you when we come to use it and then make your way onto your hands and knees and table. Shoulders over top of the wrist, knees hip distance apart. Cat cow, you're gonna pull your chest through some of the table and up. Find some spinal extension. And flex to the spine so you're gonna push away from the floor. And as you continue with your cat cows at your own pace, just listen to where you feel like you have a lot of space today. Pay attention to those pockets in the spine where maybe it feels a little stiff. See if you can work through those areas. One more. You're going to take your strap with you and come into a comfortable seated position. So you can sit on the heels, you can sit cross-legged, you can grab a block here if you'd like. We'll do some shoulder flossing. I absolutely love this. Always feels good. Take your hands nice and wide on the strap. You want to keep your rib cage over top of the pelvis. Pull the hands apart as you reach the strap up towards the ceiling. Then you're going to take the strap about halfway back. Pause at that halfway spot. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, bring the strap down so the strap taps your glutes. And then take the strap halfway up. You're going to pause in that spot, pull the hands apart. And bring the strap up and over. Lift the strap up to the ceiling. Lengthen to the spine. Take the strap all the way back. Bring it down to tap the glutes. And then take it back up and over. So now you're going to play with it. You can move side to side. You can add some rotations to it. Depending on how you spend your day. This might feel really good for you. Getting some blood flow happening there, especially if you're super tight for the chest and front of the shoulders. time you bring the strap up and over, take your strap at the front of the mat. You're going to leave the strap there. As you tuck your toes under, you're coming to downward dog. Lift your hips up and back. And then in downward dog, you're going to walk the legs out, bending one knee straight in the other. Shifting side to side. And lifting your heels up, bend your knees, walk your feet forwards until you come to ragdoll at the front of your mat. Feet are wide, knees stay bent, reach for either elbow. As you pull your forearms down towards the floor, you're going to add a little bit of a sway here. All 
Arms release down. Keep your knees bent as you roll yourself up, coming up to stand. And at the top, you're going to reach both arms up. Hinge from your hips and fold forwards over top of your legs. Hands come to your shins. Lift up halfway. Bring the hands down to the floor and step back. Downward dog. Bring your shoulders over top of the wrist and set your knees down to the floor. Bend your elbows. You're going to lower through Chaturanga to come all the way down onto your stomach. You're going to grab that strap. Your hands are going to be shoulder distance apart. Reach the strap right out in front of you. Your feet are going to be about mat distance apart. Press the tops of the feet on the floor using the glutes. Pull the hands apart. You're going to lift the arms off the ground. Lift the head and lift the chest. Try to reach your arms forwards. And then lower back down. We'll do that again. Lift the arms, lift the head, lift the chest. And then lower down. One more time. You're going to lift it back up. Hold there at the top. And then lower down. Leave the strap there. Place your hands beside your lower rib cage. Send your bum back towards your heels for child's pose. On your inhale, think about the breath going into the back. Exhale, allow yourself to drape over top of the legs. Forwards in the table. One round of cat cow, chest forwards, table and up. Flex to the spine. Tuck your toes under, downward dog. Lift your heels up, bend the knees. Hop or step, make your way to the front of your mat. Take a halfway lift. Fold down into the legs. On the stand, you reach both arms up. Hands together, heart prayer. All right, so now I want you to grab your strap. And you're gonna place your strap around your right foot. So you loop around the right foot. You're gonna come to stand on your left foot. Begin to bend your right knee and bring your knee in towards your chest. So your strap's gonna to come to the inside of the leg. Then your right hand is gonna walk down the strap, getting your hand as close to the foot as you possibly can. Left hand to the hip. Now lift the crown of the head up. Lift up out of that standing leg and you can stay right here with the knee bent or you're going to start to push your foot into the strap and straighten the leg. Toes face up towards the ceiling. Try to not let that right shoulder go forwards with the leg. Try to keep that shoulder back. Your breath is your base, so come back to it. And then that loop is going to stay around the foot. Just now bring your foot to a hover. Your right hand's going to glide up the strap, and then both hands are going to hold the strap towards your sternum. So hold it towards your chest. You want to have enough resistance that you can feel your foot press into the strap. And then you're going to tip your chest forwards and come into a warrior three. The right leg is going to go back, rib cage away from the floor, right toes stay facing down. And take a big step back. We're going to turn this into warrior two. The strap, the loop is going to stay around the right foot. So you're going to ground your back heel. Rotate your hips to the right. Walk the feet out as wide as you need to. And then take the arms up towards the ceiling. So rib cage over top of the pelvis. Press your right foot down. Lunge into your left leg. And then I love using a strap for reverse warrior. The left arm's gonna stay reaching up towards the ceiling. Your right hand is gonna press into the strap. So you're gonna lean to the right, reach your right arm back. Oh, it's like you're just giving yourself your own assist here. Breathing into the left side of the rib cage. And then bring yourself up. So you're gonna straighten that left leg just so you can set up the strap for the next one. The strap's coming behind the back. Extended side angle. You're going to bend into your left leg. So your right hand's holding the strap, left forearm to the left thigh, and just take the right arm behind the back. Draw those front ribs in, pulling the heels towards one another. You can stay right here in this variation, or your left arm's going to come underneath the left thigh, and it's going to reach for the strap for a bind. 
Now make sure that right shoulder is not dropping down and chest towards the floor. You want your chest facing the side wall as well as your pelvis. You can take your gaze through the side wall or up towards the ceiling. And then your right arm is going to stay where it is as you come up in a warrior two. Right arm is still behind the back. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. You're going to bring the strap to the left hip. Your right hand's going to cross in front of the body, reaching for the strap. And your left arm's going to reach up towards the ceiling. And then reverse it, left arm back, like you're trying to pull your hand away from the hip. And then warrior two. Your left hand is going to grab hold of the strap again. So your right hand's going to let go. Left arm is behind the back, holding the strap. Straighten both legs. Are you still with me? <laughs> Turn your toes to face the right side. Wide-legged forward fold. Your right hand's going to come down to the floor. Crown of the head is reaching forwards. Pull the left shoulder back and rotate your chest towards the left. Notice how far away your arm is off the ribcage. If it's pretty far, then you're probably dropping your ribcage down towards the floor. So bring the ribs in. And then let the strap go. Both hands come down to the floor and fold forwards into the legs. Come onto your fingertips, take a halfway lift. Walk your hands to the front, hands from your left foot, you're on the ball of your right foot. Push off your back foot and step to the front of your mat. Take the strap off the right foot, place a little loop around your left foot, and come up to stand. You ready to try that on the other side? Did it feel so good though? <laughs> All right, so you're standing nice and tall on the right leg. Bend your left knee and start to bring your left knee in towards you. Your left arm's coming to the inside of the leg and your hand's trying to get as close to the foot as you can. Make sure your core is on, so try not to lean back. Get your core on, on line, ribcage over top of the pelvis, relax around your shoulders. You do not need to go further, but if you'd like, press your foot into the strap and straighten your leg. And breath is at your anchor. You're driving your foot into the strap. Use that feedback the strap's giving you. Bring your left foot down to hover above the floor. Both hands are now holding the strap. Keeping the strap tight to your ribcage. Tilt the torso forwards, warrior three. Keep driving your foot into the strap. I love using the strap for warrior three because we tend to forget about that left leg, the leg that's lifted. So make sure it's activated. Bend your right knee to take a step back with your left leg and set up for warrior two. Round your back heel, widen your stance, rib cage over top of pelvis, take the strap up towards the ceiling. Really root down to that left foot, right arm's reaching up, take a nice big breath in. And then on the exhale, left hand is gonna push into the strap, reaching to the back, reverse your warrior. So you can always play with your right hand coming closer to the foot. Everyone's distance will be different. And then bring yourself up. So the left hand is gonna keep hold of the strap. Let go of the strap with your right hand. Left arm's gonna come behind the back. Right forearm down onto the right thigh. Pull the heels towards one another. And then option, take that right arm underneath, grabbing hold of the strap for that bind. Pull the left shoulder backwards in. And bring yourself up. Now your right arm's gonna cross in front of the body. So right hand's holding the strap. No, what did I do last time? Sorry. <laughs> Straps behind you. <laughs> left hand to the left hand. Right arm up to the ceiling. Lean to the left. That's not the usual way I did it, so I'm all messed up. <laughs> and then warrior two, still work. Straighten the leg, toes to the left. Yes, yoga teachers mess up too, it's okay. <laughs> So now right arm is behind the back, right hand holding the strap. Bring your ribs in, are we all in it together? So right arm's behind the strap, left hand down on the floor. So your left hand's in line with the sternum. Rotate your chest to the right, draw the right shoulder back, and then you're walking your right hand down the strap towards your left foot. 
and you're using your breath to get a little bit more space. And let the strap go, both hands down to the floor, fold forwards into your legs. Make your way onto your fingertips, take a halfway lift. Walk your hands to the front, hands from your right foot, you're on the ball of the left foot, push off, step forward to the top of the mat, take the strap off to the side. Halfway lift, fold into your legs. Come up to stand, reach both arms up, hands together, heart prayer. Now we're gonna use, or we're gonna move that flow a little quicker than what we just did and without the strap, but I want you to think about what you learned in that first round and implement it here, even though you don't have the feedback of the strap. So right knee is gonna come in towards your chest. Start with both hands below the knee. And then you can stay there. You can bring your left hand to the hip or your right hand's reaching for the outside of your foot. And you're gonna drive your foot into the hand as you take the leg forwards. And we're all gonna bring that right foot to a hover, hands together in prayer, take a breath in to lengthen. On your exhale, warrior three, tip your torso forwards, right toes face down. Take a step back, high lunge, and you reach both arms up, feet are on separate tracks. Warrior two, ground your back foot, adjust the length of your shape, arms up to the side. Reverse your warrior, left arm reaching back. Extended side angle, left forearm to the thigh, right arm up, or you're coming into that bind, right arm behind the, behind the back, Pull my left arm underneath the left thigh. Warrior two. Straighten the leg, turn your toes to the right, wide legged forward fold, hands come down to the floor. Any variation you'd like here. Take a halfway lift. Walk your hands to the front, hands from your right foot, you're on the ball of the right foot. Sorry, hands from the left foot, you're on the ball of the right foot. I'm all over the place today, I apologize. Step back, downward dog or flow. And second side, bend your knees, make your way to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, fold into the legs. Coming to stand, reach up. Hands together, heart prayer. Second side, left knee to your chest. Both hands below the knee, right hand to the hip, or left hand reaching for the outside of the foot and take it forwards. Bring your leg down to a hover, hands together in prayer, breathe in. And exhale, warrior three. Vision that straps on the foot. Take a step back, high lunge, arms reach up. Open up for your two, ground your foot, arms up to the side. Reverse your warrior, right arm reaching back. Extended side angle, form to the thigh. Half bind or full bind. I'm up warrior two. Straighten the leg, turn your toes to the left, wide-legged forward fold. Halfway lift. Walk your hands to the front, step back, downward dog or vinyasa. you've gone through that flow, lower down onto your knees, child's pose. If child's pose is not comfortable for you, maybe you prefer puppy or laying down on your stomach, just wherever you can relax. Come back to the breath. Spine, so you're sitting on the heels with your chest up. 
And then swing your legs all the way down onto your bum. Grab your strap, you're gonna place the strap around the ball of your left foot, left leg straight, right foot's coming to the inside of your left thigh. Both hands are gonna hold the strap, sit up nice and tall, and then hinge from the hip and you're gonna fold forwards into the leg as you walk your hands down the strap. Getting your hands as close to the foot as you can, making sure you're not rounding to the spine and the shoulders up to the ears. Lifting the chest up. Keep the strap around your left foot. Open up your hips to the right. You can sit on a block while you do this or a pillow. Left hand's gonna come to the inside of the leg. Right hand's holding the strap. You're gonna reach your arm up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna lean over like you're reaching towards your left foot. And you're just gonna walk your right hand down the strap until it works for you. So keep pressing that right glute down, whether it's on the floor or on the block. Draw the shoulder back and try to take your gaze underneath the arm towards the ceiling. yourself up and we will change sides and so now the strap is coming around your right foot left foot to the inside of your right thigh almost done <laughs> sit up nice and tall take your breath in and as you exhale you're gonna fold walk your hands down the strap Lifting your chest up. Sit on that prop if you'd like to. Rotate your hips to the left. Left hand is holding the strap up to the ceiling. Right hand or forearms coming down to the floor. And then as you lean over to the right, your left hand's gonna walk down the strap until it works for you. To close off, just make your way into a seated position, whether it's eating cross-legged or sitting on the heels. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, shut down the eyes. And take a moment to find gratitude for what your body just did. For this day, this moment. Take a nice big breath in, clear it out. I always like to leave you with a gentle reminder to be humble and to be kind. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you again on your mat soon. Namaste, thank you.